Hey guys, how's it going? My name is John and I document full self-driving beta and how it progresses over time. I am taking my car, which is a 2019 Model 3, from the train station in Schaumburg all the way over to Hoffman Estates to a neighborhood area. So several interesting scenarios play out here, but I want to emphasize, first of all, that I do have the latest version. I have version 11.4.7 in my car, which just came in today. And today is August 25th, which is Friday. It's really excited to test this out. I'm hoping that I can see something that's different, something that's new. There were no, uh, there was no new information in the release notes. I did hear on X that it's basically bug fixes, which is, you know, what's happened before. It's a little bit disappointing because there was a, a large uh, delay between the last version and this version, uh, and I, I realize I'm speaking from a privileged standpoint because. A lot of people haven't gotten any updates in a really long time, so I apologize if I'm coming off as sounding that way, but it's disappointing that there was such a long period between updates and yet there's no significant improvements or nothing mentioned in the release notes. Take a look at this. This gentleman's playing basketball in the middle of the road. My car goes around them. I thought this was the coolest thing. So I slow it down, take a look. It sees him here playing basketball. It turns him blue on the screen. My car swerves over to the left. I thought that was the neatest thing. I think it did a phenomenal job there. And it's it's very safe around humans. This is one thing I've observed. It does a really, really nice job detecting them and going around, getting out of their way. I have not had any issues where I, I have felt unsafe around people coming out in the road or in intersections. For the remainder of this drive, I'm going to go at four times the speed. This uh, there's, there's really not a whole lot of stuff going on. It gives me an opportunity to kind of talk through things. I'm going to slow down whenever something eventful happens, it's something that is interesting and worth noting. I just want to mention that I do have my camera high up. I did get the hyper smooth algorithm working on my GoPro again. I had to get a higher speed SD card and that really, really helped. So I hope everybody likes this format. I personally am not a huge fan of it being so high up. So please bear with me as I experiment some more with views. I think having it further back, kind of Grand Theft Auto style, similar to what AI Driver does, is the most pleasing or aesthetically pleasing view. I did get a lot of feedback when I asked for people's comments on the camera placement. A lot of people, I'd say, maybe 30 to 40 percent of the people were commenting that I should have it in the car. Take a look at this. It goes into the intersection. The light proceeds to turn red and my car gets stuck here. So at this point it gets awkward. There's someone behind me. I did have to step on it to get through that intersection. That remains an issue and it's something that I've never been very pleased with you have to be ready to take over in the, in those situations. I don't know why it creeps into the intersection if it's just going to stay there and stall out. Now coming up here, look at this car coming into the road. My car sees them. It slows down. It's going 45 right now. And then it, oh, that's not the car. Here it is right here. So it's coming out and it goes down. You see how now it's 41 and then it starts to speed up again. So I'm going to slow this down. Take a look. It's 45 miles per hour right now. It sees that car, 44, 43, 42, 41. I love that. It did a really nice job. It felt very natural. Now, another car may have slowed down entirely, but my car knew very intelligently this is out of the way. I don't need to slow down that much. It wasn't a huge uh, safety hazard. So it continued on its way just fine. It felt very natural. Now throughout the course of this drive, I felt like everything was just very human-like. I mean, the, the acceleration, the deceleration, taking these turns here. There was nothing that was awkward. I skip ahead here a little bit. I skipped some footage because my GoPro started twisting on the pole. I had to pull over and reorient the camera. We're coming up to this stoplight. We're turning left here. It does a really nice job. Someone right behind me. I didn't have to step on the accelerator or do anything. It came out really naturally. It's staying in this lane and going straight from here. We're going to be turning right and heading up toward Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg. 
so you can see I'm, I'm dialed in for 1191 Woodfield Road and uh, no reason to go to Woodfield Mall. I just dialed in you know, several different destinations just to play with this new version to see if I noticed anything different between 11.4.7 and 11.4.6, which is what I was on previously. And I will say that I did not notice any significant differences. Everything felt identical. I wish Tesla, sometimes I really wish they would release some information to let us know what they fixed. I did send an email to the beta team hoping that they'd give me some feedback so I knew where to test it to help them out, maybe with some additional feedback, but I have not heard anything back. I got an auto reply message. And if anybody needs to or wants to contact the beta team, it's fsdbeta at tesla.com. Uh, just don't abuse that I would say <laughs> I'm sure they get a ton of email so every time I email them my expectations are never that they actually reply to me however it would be nice to at least get some sort of acknowledgement that they are receiving my emails I guess the auto reply kind of serves that feature but still it's uh, you know frustrating when there you can't you can never close the loop. I submit tons of video footage. I still have the camera icon in the top right of my screen, as you can see, and I hit that every so often from time to time whenever there's a mistake. Coming up here, we get into the center lane. I slow this down. Take a look. This is normal speed, and it goes to the left. You see the path planner? It's going to the left, right in the middle of the intersection. This caught me off guard. I did not see it coming. I'm going to replay this same speed it, it goes left if anybody knows why let me know i i could not figure out why it, it actually moved within its lane i mean it wasn't a huge disturbance it didn't really bother me it just was unexpected at this intersection i play around with the screen a little bit just to show you it's pretty cool how you can interact with the elements on the screen and my car is a 2019 model 3 Whoops, it looks like uh, it's actually the next intersection it must be. Uh, uh, it's really cool playing with the screen because you can swipe left, swipe right. It's extremely fast and very responsive still, even to this day after owning the car for so many years. Uh, looks like, let's see. Uh, I think um, I, I mi I'm missing that footage. Oh, here it is. Okay, strange. I thought it was at the previous intersection. So yeah, it's really cool, a lot of fun, and it, this is, you know, double the speed, but it, it proves a point that it's it's still very responsive and a lot of fun to interact with the screen. Of course, you don't want to do that when you're actually driving, but when you're at a light, it's kind of cool to see that. So here, changing lanes. I hope this uh, sped up version doesn't bother people. Some people get motion sickness just watching things sped up like this so i'm open to feedback i didn't find this drive super eventful so i did speed up all, the majority of this just to save everybody's time it doesn't make sense to go through these drives you see you see how it went all the way over the right there that's a pattern i've documented that in a lot of other videos it continues to do that i don't mind it but whether it's legal or not i i don't know and here, this, this road is kind of windy. I really like how it handled it. And that truck coming out, it did a nice job there. It comes up here and turns right. And then you'll see my HDMI output down at the bottom will disappear briefly. That's me kind of modifying the waypoints. See, it's gone right now. I modify the waypoints and then put it back. And I'm just taking it away because it shows some uh, confidential destinations I'd rather not the public see. So coming up here, we're going to be turning right. And this is what's what's really interesting coming up here is that it goes through a neighborhood and there's a lot of cars parked on the side. There's a car that comes up and I don't slow this down. I, I keep this sped up because it's not significantly interesting, at least not interesting enough to slow it down. But you'll see parked cars on the side of the road and a car coming. And my car does a nice job right here. You see it just carried on its way, didn't slow down. I have a feeling that if somebody else were to tackle this huge, huge challenge, that it would have slowed down completely and waited uh, for those cars, but it does a nice job. Now take a look at this. This is an unpredicted left. I do slow it down to normal speed here. It, the, the, it's stopping for stop sign, left turn signal is on, 
and it's waiting for its turn. Now is a good time to go. It goes out and it, and it stops at this median here. This is the right thing to do. It slows down and stops. Now, unfortunately, it tries to go at the wrong time right here. So I, I mean, the path actually, if, if you were to rewind it or replay, the path wasn't blue. So it actually wouldn't have gone, but it was so close and it was moving forward that it made it awkward and would have startled the other cars. And I really didn't want to get honked at. So I did have to intervene or actually disengage and take over there. So now uh, as I re-enabled it, it has to get all the way over to turn right here. And you can see there's a lot of cars coming. So it's still trying to get all the way over there. And then it actually tries in the middle of the intersection. This bothered me. Thankfully, another car is coming. So it stopped and it's still actually trying. I feel like it's, it's, <laughs> it's really struggling to try to get over there. And then it realizes finally, oh, I missed it. And it has to reroute. So it's coming now down Salem Drive instead of Gannon Drive. And we're just going to loop around to get back onto Gannon Drive. So the, this section's pretty straightforward. It waits here. I love this. Watch this uh, Honda. It goes forward a little bit. And then my car creeps. I love when it does that. That's a really nice natural feeling when you're driving with full self-driving beta. But as you can see, I mean, generally speaking, it, it operates really nicely. It's very fluid. It's very smooth. Again, no big changes. Uh, I'm going to close out the video from here. But generally speaking, I'm still modifying my approach to these videos. I appreciate everybody's patience as I tweak this to get the perfect view. And I have still been playing around with the augmented reality style with overlays. I have yet to perfect that, but once I do, watch out. My channel is going to get a heck of a lot more interesting because I can get a lot more data and details displayed for everybody. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you appreciate my content, it would go a long way to visit my Patreon and support me in a small way. I would love that. Thanks again, and have a great day.